All right, welcome to Daily Mass Concepts. What we're looking at today is um, we want to graph logarithmic functions. So here it is that we have log uh, y is equal to log of x in base 3. First, we want to let the x is equal to 0. And this part always gives us our vertical asymptote. Every logarithmic function will have a vertical asymptote. Then we want to let x equal to 1. Then we let x equal to the base. And in this case, it's 3. So what we want to do quickly is to set up some values here. We want to set up some values that we have. So we want to know when x is equal to 1, when x is equal to 3, what is the value of y. So we want to work that out. For example, log of let us say x is equal to 1, base 3. What is the solution for this, right? So in other words, that this is 0 because 3 raised to the 0 is 1. So we know that this is a 0. Also, we want to work out log in base 3, 3. What is this? Since the numbers are the same, then it has to be a 1, which means 3 raised to the 1 will give you 3. So this is one. So now we have ourselves with, with some points. So we could now plot our graph, right? Easily. So we could put on some values quickly. My vertical asymptote is gonna be at zero. So my vertical asymptote is actually at zero right there. Uh, and then we have one, two, three. And I have one, two, three. So I'm going to plot these points. One with a zero is here. And three with one is somewhere here. So we could see what's going on. So what's going on here with my graph is that it's going to come up from the vertical asymptote here. Go across and heads like that. All right? So that's the graph. Now, with this, we can uh, figure out a few things like the domain. We could see that the domain that we have, the set of x value, since we have the vertical asymptote here, right? We could say the domain is going to be where x is x is actually greater than zero. So in this case, where x is greater than zero, right? X is greater than zero, which means that it's coming from zero to positive infinity. That's my domain. What's my range? As you could see, my range would be from negative infinity to positive infinity because we're having all values, all real numbers for the y's, right? All right, and stuff like that. So there it is, a nice graph, right? All right, let's look at another case. All right, so we want to look at where y is equal to log x plus 5. This is base 4. Principle remains the same, right? What we're going to do, we're going to let this part be equal to three things. One, we're going to let x plus 5 be equal to 0, which means that x is equal to negative 5, right? This is my vertical asymptote. Then we're going to let x plus 5, which is now equal to 1. So I could solve this. x is going to equal to, I'll take 5 from both sides, negative 4, right? And then let x plus 5 equal to the base, and this is 4. If I subtract 5 from both sides, x is going to equal to negative 1. 
So if, you, if you're a little bit confused, we subtract five there, balance, subtract five there, subtract five there, balance, subtract five there. So we're seeing what we're getting right there. All right. So in this case, I'm going to move my table up to get my values. So this is my X, my Ys. The X values that I'm going to try are as follows. I'm going to try with negative one, negative four, which would have been these, right? So we're going to try those. So we're going to substitute what happened, right? So we have log in base four. Let X be negative one, negative one plus five. We continue working log in base four, negative one plus one is going to give you four. Since the numbers are the same, this is a one, which means that negative one goes with positive one, right? Let us quickly work out the other one. All right. So let us work out when, when, thank you. When X is equal to negative four, so negative four plus five. And that's going to give me one and the four, right? Then this would be a zero because four raised to zero is one, which means that this part is a zero. So now I have my two points. My asymptote is at negative five. That's my vertical asymptote and negative five, right? The vertical asymptote is at negative five. So I'm going to plot these points. So let me put on, uh, this is negative one, negative two, negative three. Negative four. One, two, one, two. Negative four. And I could put negative one. So negative one goes with positive one right there. Negative four goes with a zero right here. So I'm actually seeing what's going on. What we're noticing is that this graph is going to be coming from up here. And it's going to go down to my asymptote like that. And it's going to go that way. Now, with this, we are able to tell what our domain is. Our domain would be from negative 5 to positive infinity. Right? Our range will be the same. It's from negative infinity to positive infinity. Uh, let's look at one more example. All right, let's say I'm trying where y is equal to log x plus 8. Here's a minus 4. And this is in base 2. We're going to take this part here, and we're going to let that equal to so x plus 8 must equal to 0. If we work this out, x is equal to negative 8. This is my vertical asymptote. x plus 8 must equal to 1. If we solve this, x is equal to negative 7. x plus 8 must be equal to the base, which is 2. We solve this, x is equal to negative 6. So we're going to rule our table up. These x values, negative 6 and negative 7, I'm going to use them to get two points. Now, let us substitute negative 6. So if y is equal to the log base 2, of x plus 8. x is now negative 6 plus 8. And then there's a minus 4. If we should continue with our log base 2, 
then this part becomes 4. Then we'll get a minus 4. So the question is, if I have this part here, what's the value of that? In other words, 2 raised to what power give 4? So 2 raised to 2 would have given 4, which means y is equal to 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. So negative 2 goes with the 6. Let's work the other point out. All right, so y is equal to log in base 2, x. x is negative 7 plus 8, and then we take 4. Now let's continue working. We have log in base 2, negative 7 plus 8 is going to give me a 1, and then I'm going to take 4 from that. Let us figure out what this part is. In other words, what power can I raise 2 to so that I could get a value of 1? If you raise 2 to the 0, you would have got 1. Which means that this part is saying that y is equal to 0 minus 4, which will be a negative 4. So negative 7 goes with negative 4. Now, having those values, we can now plot the points. All right, let's plot those points. On the, so I'm gonna have, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so, and then on the, the y-axis negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. All right, so one, two, three. All right, let's take a look. My vertical asymptote is where x is equal to negative eight, so I need negative eight here as well. So my vertical asymptote is here. Now from this, negative six will go with negative two. Negative six with negative two is about here and then negative seven with negative four negative seven with negative four is about here so what we're noticing remember with the vertical asymptote we're not going to be able to cross that path so then it simply means that the graph is coming from down here and it goes through these and it goes all the way up so that's the general idea.